What's up y'all? Welcome back to Fish the Moments. Today is finally the day that I get to show you the new bait that I've been working on with Jewel Baits for the last nine months that is going to completely revolutionize your offshore jig fishing. And that's the Fish the Moment Offshore Jig by Jewel Baits. So let's get into it. So here it is guys, the Fish the Moment Offshore Jig that I've been developing for over nine months with Jewel Baits. And this bait is completely unique to the jig market and it combines a lot of features that have been secrets in the Ozark region of the country for over 30 years. And so many tournaments have been won in this region of the country as well as other parts of the country on baits with similar characteristics but they've never all been put into one bait to develop the perfect offshore jig to put a ton of fish in the boat. And so I want to walk through some of the unique characteristics of this jig that make it stand apart from any other jig on the market and that's going to make you a lot more efficient and effective offshore jig fisherman. Let's start with the most unique characteristic of this football jig, and that's the double cable guard weed guard. This has been an Ozarks jig fishing secret for over 25 years, and all the best offshore jig fishermen use this double cable guard because it comes through brush 10 times better than your traditional brush guard. And the reason is because these wires are a little bit stiffer than your standard brush guard and will deflect the wood away from the hook point, helping you come through brush and sanding timber a lot better. And I love fishing jigs and offshore brush piles and I've been doing it for over 10 years and I used to go through anywhere from 10 to 20 football jigs every single month especially in the summertime when I was fishing deep brush and since switching to this double cable guard about a year and a half ago I usually only go through about two to three jigs every single month fishing brush piles not only does that save me a ton of money but it also has increased the number of fish I catch out of my brush piles because I'm not hanging up this jig in the brush top which spooks the fish and causes the school to shut down. And I've actually found that this summer I'm getting a lot more bites per brush pile just because this jig comes through clean almost every single time. And on a lot of brush piles in the past I might get two or three fish out of the brush pile then hang up the jig and have to break it off and move on and it would kind of spook the fish. But now I can make 15 to 20 clean casts through this brush pile without this jig getting hung up at all. And I can now catch seven, eight, nine bass per brush pile. And I've done that so many times this summer. And and it makes me really regret not knowing about this double weed guard earlier because it's cost me a ton of fish over the years just because the other jigs weren't coming through the brush as well. I'm not going to say that the profile or anything in this jig is special and is getting me more bites, but the fact that it comes through brush so cleanly is generating more bites because I'm not spooking the fish. And I fell in love with this double cable guard because of its ability to come through brush. But I've also experimented with it a lot fishing offshore rock and gravel. And I found that my hookup ratio has actually increased with this football jig and this cable guard after I made one small modification to this jig. Basically what I do is I will take this cable guard and push it down so that the cable guards are almost in line with the point of the hook. And when I run my finger over the top of the cables, you'll see that my finger actually gets caught by the hook. And when you're fishing around rock and gravel, you don't really have to worry about having your hook point getting hooked in the rocks. Usually it's the head that's gonna get jammed and what's gonna cause you to get hung. And so with the cable guard pushed down, the fish have an easier time actually getting that hook in their mouth and you're not pushing the fish's mouth away from the jig you, like you would with a traditional brush guard. And so when those fish have a descending angle of attack, they're kind of moving down on the jig in the rocks, that cable guard will move out of the way easier and hook fish a lot better. Now when I get around brush, if you keep that cable guard down low, it will hang up in the brush. And so all you have to do is raise up those cable guards and make sure that they're elevated above the point of that hook. And when you run your fingers over the top of that guard, you'll see that now my finger is not getting caught by the hook. And that's the same thing that will happen to the limbs of trees. It'll just get deflected away. And this is how you can keep yourself not getting hung up in trees, brush piles, stuff like that. And so basically, I'll keep the wire guard high and up if I'm fishing around brush and wood, and I'll push it down when I'm fishing around rock and gravel to make sure that I'm both staying weedless and also increasing my hookup ratio. And it just makes this jig so versatile and just an amazing bait for all offshore applications. Another really unique feature of this jig that again is in our Ozark secret is the bait keeper. And as you can see, the bait keeper actually extends pretty far down the shank of the hook. And 
it's actually poured from lead and this redistributes the weight away from the head and more towards the base of the hook. And this will cause this bait to have a very different fall from other jigs on the market. And it will fall actually more horizontally rather than head first straight down to the bottom. This is really important because it causes the jig to almost glide and swim through the water as it falls, especially when you're stroking it or hopping it high off the bottom, as opposed to just going straight up and straight back down. And it'll imitate better like a bait fish or a fleeing shad, things like that, as well as a fleeing crawfish. Another advantage of redistributing the weight down the shank of the hook is that the head size of this jig is a little bit smaller than other competitors on the market. This is actually a five eight ounce jig, but the head size is a lot more similar to a half ounce jig. And this will help it come through cover better. And also when you set the hook, that jig head won't pop the fish's mouth open as bad, which will increase your hookup ratio. And so that bait keeper not only gives it a unique fall, but also makes it a little more fishable and easier to come through cover. And also this bait keeper is just an awesome way to keep your trailers on this jig. This double cone system actually wraps and forms the plastic around these cones and the only way you're gonna get your trailer off after you put it on is literally ripping it off and this will help you go through a few less trailers when you're fishing on the lake and it's not a huge difference but if I can go through one or two less rage crawls every trip that'll save me money in the long run especially as much as I throw this jig and so the keeper system is very unique to this bait and it has so many advantages that help make this bait a lot more effective than other jigs on the market the head of this jig also has a very unique design that leverages the tri and true Jewel Baits football head jig shape. It has a flat spot in the bottom of the jig to help it stand up on rocky bottom and around cover. And it also has a secondary indention between the eye and the flat spot, which actually allows this bait to leverage itself over rocks and logs a lot easier than a standard rounded football jig head. And this is a design that has been used by anglers for years in the traditional Jewel Baits football jig lineup. And we've just taken this technology which has developed in the Ozarks over the years, added it to all the other key features that have been Ozark secrets with a double cable guard and then that bait keeper to truly create a very unique jig that the market has never seen and that will make you a lot more efficient and effective when you're fishing offshore. The last thing to talk about with this jig is the hook. And it's a four out hook with a perfect diameter for offshore jig fishing. It's not too thick so that when you're fishing in that 15 to 30 foot of water, it's hard to actually penetrate that hook into the fish, but it's not so light that it's going to bend out when you set the hook on a fish in, let's say, 8 to 12 for the water with 17 to 20 pound test. And when you get this jig, you might think that this hook actually is too light, but you have to remember that we're using this jig in offshore situations. So you're casting that jig away from the boat 30 to 50 yards sometimes, and you're fishing it down sometimes as deep as 30 feet of water. So you don't want a hook that's too heavy because you literally won't be able to get the hook in those fish mouth and penetrate their mouth, especially if it's over brush or heavy rocks. And as long as you're using no more than 17 pound fluorocarbon line with this jig, you're not going to have any problems bending or straightening out this hook. Now, if you're throwing it on braided fishing line or like 25 pound test, then yes, you might be able to bend it out. This isn't a flipping jig or anything like that. It's designed for offshore fishing. And I usually throw this on a seven foot four, medium heavy to heavy action rod with anywhere from 12 to 17 pound test. That's the perfect line size and rod for fishing a football jig in my opinion, and you'll have no problems with this hook if using the right setup. The last element of this bait is the skirt, and the rest of this jig has been designed off of 30 years of Ozark jig fishing secrets, and so we wanted to continue that with the skirt. And this is the Jewel Baits flop top skirt that has been used to win so many tournaments over the years, it's crazy. Lots of boats and tens of thousands of dollars have been won on local team trails and local individual tournaments with this skirt. And it's basically a combination of a thin silicone skirt with a thicker silicone that gives this bait a very unique profile in the water. And it almost unfurls and pulsates when it's sitting there on the bottom. And so even when that jig is sitting there for three, four, five seconds, that skirt is still moving and shimmering in the water. And there's some combination of some shorter strands along with some very long strands here and we made this skirt extra long to make it customizable for the angler and I actually don't usually keep the skirt at full length usually what I'll do is actually trim this skirt so that the ends of the skirt will stop about a quarter inch from the base of the hook 
look. And that makes this jig a lot more compact and gives it a little bit different profile, but it still allows it to flare and pulsate in the water. And this is great when fishing in very clear water, or let's say water visibilities that are greater than two feet. But when I get into dirtier water, I'll actually keep the skirt a little bit more full and leverage the fact that the skirt has a bulky profile to get some bites when I'm fishing in dirtier water, especially in this black and blue color. And I'll put maybe like a brush hog on the back of this skirt when it's very, very long. And then when I'm fishing with the shorter trimmed up jig, I might throw a rage craw or a menace grub and I like that menace grub in the clear water. I like the rage crawl in a little bit dirtier water. And then when I'm in very dirty water, two feet of visibility or less, I'll go to that brush hog with that little bit longer skirt and a darker color jig. In terms of skirt colors, we didn't want to overwhelm you with a ton of different options. And instead, just give you the four tried and true colors that we know catch fish and also they cover all the different water clarities you might face. And so for your very clear water, let's say four feet of visibility or more, we have a watermelon candy color and this is a very natural pattern that works great in clear water. For a little bit more stained water, let's say three to four feet of visibility, we gave you a peanut butter and jelly color, which is a classic football jig color that guys have been catching fish on for years. Once you get to a little bit more stained water, let's say that two to three foot of visibility, I really like this Missouri craw color. It has some yellow in the skirt, which will really help imitate a panfish or a perch, something like that, and it also has some greens and blacks in there, which will help it imitate a crawfish as well. And then for your very dirty water, let's say less than two foot of visibility, we have the tried and true black and blue jig color. And all of these jigs have this copper finish to the head, which is a great finish to pair with all of these colors. And it's also a very strong finish that's not going to wear away when you drag it through rocks, things like that. And one more element to the skirt that I wanted to make sure was added is a rattle band. This allows you to actually put your own rattles on this jig, and when you're fishing around brush piles or maybe around pressured fish, you can put that rattle on the jig collar to give it a different sound to your competitors. And that really makes this jig one of the most customizable and unique jigs on the market. You've seen all the different elements from the double cable guard, the flat spot on the head, the bait keeper, the unique skirt, rattle band, and so many more features that really set this bait apart from other competitors' jigs and it's been catching me so many fish guys over the last few months. You'll be seeing this jig used in a ton of videos. I've actually been holding back a lot of content because I've been catching them on this jig and I wanted to wait till it was released before I put all that footage. But I've been catching big fish with it, you know, six pounders. I've been catching a lot of numbers in that two to three pound range. And I even got Randy hooked on this bait after our recent trip to Table Rock Lake where we caught some really nice smallmouth offshore. And that's saying something because Randy rarely ever throws a football jig. And there are a ton more videos coming out in the near future of me catching fish with this bait, but I wanted to make a dedicated video on the launch day of this bait just to let you guys know about it and let you know about all the technology that we put into this bait. We really wanted to make it something unique from all the other jigs in the market. There are a million football jigs out there, but I believe that we've succeeded in doing that and made a bait that is superior to the other jigs out there and will make you more efficient and effective fishermen. And this jig will be on jewelbaits.com as well as Tackle Warehouse and it's going to be retailing in a two pack. I haven't been told the final price this bait will retail for at the time of this video, but I'll know by the time I post this. And I'm just excited that this jig is coming to two pack, which gives you guys a better value and puts it at a price point below other competitors on the market. And so you're getting an American made jig that's produced here in the US at a lower price point than their jigs with superior technology. You literally can't beat that. And so this has been a huge passion project for me. And I said to give a huge shout out to Jewel Baits for working with me on this project and actually letting a YouTuber like me produce their own bait. Fish the moment, guys. We have our own fish and lure. That's so cool. And it's a bait that I have so much confidence in and so much belief in, and I am proud to be able to promote this bait and share it with you guys because I am a 100% true believer in this bait, and you will see why I am after watching all my upcoming videos on it. So thanks again, guys, for checking out this video. If, again, if you want to check out this bait, I'll leave links in the description below of where you can go purchase it. It will be an online-only bait for a little while here before we distribute it around and so check it out on tacklewarehouse.com and jewelbaits.com and other than that thanks again for checking out the video go pick up some jigs and i'll see you all next one